All right, guys. It's been it's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything. Since you've heard from me. Um. And I know everybody and their second cousin have been playing this game, but you know what? I've always enjoyed playing this game. I find it very calming. And hi, sheepies. Oh, what a horse! So oh, a bunch of horses, sheepy. Um. And I wanted some kind of platform for you guys for me to be able to get back in touch with my my fan base and I know I've kind of left you guys hanging and trust me it has not been by choice it really hasn't um, a lot has happened especially in the last month a lot has happened and I have been struggling to find the time and the inspiration to make content like I used to. On top of that, where I am now recording this video, hi Moo Moo, I am actually in a church that I volunteer um, for, and I'm also a member, but mostly my duties here is I am the audiovisual tech for the service. And the reason why my computer is here is because where I am staying, they have bugs. And I do not want roaches <clears throat> in my baby. My Xeno. It's kind of what I call him. It's an Alienware computer, but I call him Xeno because the shape of the tower is very much like a Xenomorph's uh, head, so I call him Xeno. Little thing about me, the inclination to name inanimate objects. Another thing you're going to find about me is I talk about random crap. Because <laughs> I'm not a natural at this. I don't know how Mark can keep up a conversation um, to open air, but I guess I'm doing okay. Um, right now I am playing this in creative mode and I'm mostly just exploring. If you guys like me playing Minecraft, um, I can switch it out to survival mode. Since the cheats are on, I can easily change it to survival mode. Um, but mostly I just wanted to make something that will that will give me a way to at least just talk to my fan base like I said and kind of catch you guys up on what's going on um there's no easy way to tell you guys this but sadly lazy ladybug has passed away and it, and she lived a very long life of 14 years, and it was very hard for me because she's going to be the last dog that we're going to have for a while, maybe even ever, because financially right now we cannot afford the vet bills. We can't even afford um, the medicine and just basically it would not be fair to any future pet right now, ooh black horses, to get a pet for our amusement and our enjoyment when we cannot make their lives as fulfilling and enriching as we once were able to. That would not be fair to the dog. And we would get a cat, but my dad is deathly allergic to cats. He is literally allergic to everything except coffee, white potato, chicken, and water. 
He took the allergy test where they do the pinpricks across your arms and your back. And he looked like he got a fight with a hornet's nest when he came home after that test. And those were the only four things that he did not react to. So technically he was allergic to dogs, but he's allergic more so to cats. So that's why dogs are the better choice. But like I said, Lady will be our last for a while. Um, it was very rough for me because during COVID, um, we couldn't... We couldn't, both my mom and I, go in and be with her during her final moments. And I had never put a dog down before. And it was a first for me, and I wish I had not spent that or, you know, um, had not experienced that alone. And I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. I I technically wasn't an, alone. The vet was there. And shout out to the Ashland Veterinary Hospital here in Virginia. They, they were so accommodating. Even with the COVID um, protocols in place, they were gracious enough to, after the deed was done... They brought Lady out for my mom to say goodbye, and I will always be in debt to them for being so compassionate, and we did have her cremated. We had a little extra, and I chipped in. I had been saving up for just that occasion, so we had her cremated. Um, she is by my bed. They even had a paw print made. If you hear that blowing noise in the background, that's the computer. It's very, it's very loud. I apologize for that. But other than that, I miss her. I really do. And I know that she was part of the channel for it seems like a moment, not even a very long time, but a lot of you guys really loved her, and I just wish I could have given her more love and time than we had, but it, it just hasn't been easy. To just stay where we are, we've had to work multiple jobs. My mom works three jobs, and I only just recently managed to get a full-time job out of school, finally with benefits, and with that, I have finally been able to get medical treatment for the things that ail me. Just, it's been just one day at a time. You can't really push it any further than that. But at the end of the day, at least you got through the day. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But, like I said, I wanted to be able to update you guys on what's going on. And I'm not very fond of being on camera. You're... I don't want to say you're lucky, but you're lucky that you got the vlogs that you did because I am not fond of being on camera at all. I am not fond of it. Um, with this, I am just exploring. Um, like I said, I don't know if you guys want me to explore this world in survival mode, or if you just want me to build just for the heck of it. Because, I mean, either way will be fun, but it's up to you what you, would guys, what you guys would like. Even if only a couple of you comment, I don't care because I need 
something fun to do to get my mind off of what's basically going on in the background. And I'm doing this um, between uh, church projects. If it sounds like my voice is echoing, it's because I'm actually sitting in my church's sanctuary, which is where my desk with my PC is situated. So it is available. Ah. So it is available. Ah, trees. <laughs> For when I help the pastor stream uh, for the Sunday services, which have been fun. Um, it's been fun trying to figure out different ways to, ooh, a nether portal. Let's see. We got, ooh, some iron nuggets, some gold bars, flint. Nice. I wonder if I should set up shop here. I mean, there's another portal right there, and I wouldn't have to go very far to fix that up. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And it looks like there's decent space here to start a farm, and I can wrangle up some animals from the local area. I mean, this might be a decent place to set up shop. Yeah, there's plenty of mushroom trees. There's a plains area. Oh, yeah, this place. There's a beehive. Oh, there's a beehive. Oh. What do you know? Oh, shut up. But yeah, there's a beehive. Oh, I love. I, I, know, I know I heard a lot of people complaining about the bees in this game, but I absolutely adore them. I think they're so cute. But that's me. I, you're talking to the girl who, as a child, caught bees. I would actually catch them. Well, my parents refer to it as me catching them, but what really what I would do is I would wait patiently with my hand to the entrance of a flower. And of course, when the flower's neck is narrow, you can only go in and then back out. So I would wait for the bee to back up and he or she rather would back up to my hand. Ah uh, no. Would back up and sit on my hand. Sorry, I want to fix this. <laughs> I want to kind of leave this world the way I found it in case you guys do want me to um you know, um uh, turn it into a survival game and start doing that. But anyway, I would wait for the bee to back up onto my hand, and because my hand was warm, the bee liked sitting on my hand. And I wasn't being aggressive or anything. I was just being as gentle and soft as I could be. And I... Um, would run up to mom and be like, look, mom, look what I got. And my mom's like, oh, that's nice, honey. Please put it back. Because <laughs> she just was like, okay, this is neat that you're able to catch bees without them hurting you. But at the same time, please put the, the potentially dangerous insect back where you found it. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would have the... Ah! I don't know if I would have the uh, the uh, the courage to recreate my recreate those memories or what I did, but I know that um, I was I was a very strange child growing up. I really was. <laughs> um. You know, the more time I spend in this area, the more I like it. So I may set down my roots here. And there's plenty of trees, so I'm not going to be uh, lacking wood, that's for sure. Um, the only problem is, is that means a lot of monsters are going to be hiding in the shade, in the shadows. 
So that's going to be a problem, but I guess I could, as I clear the forest, that will be less and less of a problem, and I could just spread out the saplings that I collect. What did you say? What did you say about my mother? Shut up. Anyway, um... Chick, chick. Chick, chick. Yep. All right. So, yeah. I mean, if you guys do want me to do this in survival mode, um, let me know. And keep in mind, if I do start doing Let's Plays like this, um, I don't have the money to buy triple hate games as frequently as Mark and Jack and PewDiePie and Captain Sparkles would. I, um, on this PC as it stands, I do have The Sims 4, and I do have West of Loathing, both the, uh, the main game and the Halloween expansion, you know, uh, DLC. So, I have those games, but you guys have seen people play those games before, but if you just want to me want to see it from a... You know, just from a different point of view, if I do have a slightly different point of view with these games, then let me know. And I have no problem with playing these games. In fact, this is the first time I am using OBS when it comes to playing a game. I... Hang on, I'm gonna get a lay of the land. So, I hope that this is recording properly. I really do. <gasps> There's a village! Oh, sweet. There be a village. Nice. So this would be a good location to set down roots. The bees got livestock. There are horses not to buy. Plenty of trees. There's a water source. Not to mention a already constructed um, nether portal. Or half constructed. So, yeah, I think this would be a great place to set up. <gasps> I dare the bees! I dare the bees! Hi, little guys! Hello, I'm flying like you are! <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys want it. You know, that would be interesting. Making a house on top of a mushroom. Monsters wouldn't be able to get me. Yar. So, yeah, and I do know a few people who have Minecraft, and maybe I can get them on here and we can do a uh, multiplayer together. Um, I'm hoping that my friends. Uh, oh, I have a close friend in Ireland. Shout out to Casey Belmont, and I have a friend in uh, um, Florida, uh, Skyler. And oh, did you leave me an egg? Thank you, thank you so much. Much obliged. So yeah, if if you guys want me to, I mean I've said this like millions of times. I'm sorry, I ramble, but. You know what I mean. I've already said it. You you guys just let me know in the comments. Let me see in here. Oh, I'm seeing creepy crawlies. Ooh, Enderman. That's another thing that I don't really find too scary in this game are the Endermen. It's like, as long as you don't look them dead in the face, they got nothing to say. They got no beef with you. In fact, if you listen, they go, hey, how are you? Hey, yep. I just don't find them that scary. I just find them, in a strange way, kind of cute. I don't know. I find the weirdest things cute. Um, but, ooh, there's a lot of thick trees in here. I wonder if this is a dark forest. And if it's a dark forest, I wonder if there's a manor. That's a thought. But, 
I will probably explore that at a later date. Um, if I do, since I have the chest, technically I will destroy that. So it seems like I picked it up. I'm trying to be as legit here in case you guys want me to go full survival mode. Um, just keep in mind, I am not the best uh, gamer out there. I play casually when I am able to play at all. So don't have high expectations. Mostly expect these to be a platform for me to converse through. And if you do, if you guys have any questions about me or things you want me to talk about, um, things I will not talk about or get into are politics, religion, um, because I, and the goings on and the dark stuff that's going on in the world right now, I, I would, there's enough stress in my life and I do not need to be talking about that stuff because it may be, it may be stressful to someone else to hear it from someone else who has no, no right to be discussing these topics that she does not fully understand. Until you can argue both sides of the conversation, I don't think you should be arguing the con arguing to begin with. But that's just my personal opinion, and that is how far I'm going to get with that. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave it alone. I would much rather have a fun time playing this, and hopefully some people getting some enjoyment out of it. Ah, fishy. Ah, a lot of squid. Um, as far as my faith, I mean, obviously, I believe in an almighty power, a higher power, since I work for a church and I'm uh, a member of said church. And all I'm going to say about it is, please do not get discouraged or scared away by the fact that I am Christian. Um, I'm not the type that will gladly um, hit you over the head with my Bible, screaming at you that you will burn in hell, fire and brimstone, highly favored, because I have, I have no patience for Christians like that. To me, it's all an act. It's all just... It's just toxic living like that. I mean, if you have, if you feel that you have to wake up in order to feel gratified in the morning, that you're waking up to frequently tell a minority group that they're going to burn in hell when you haven't even heard their full story yet and you're just judging them from the outside, you have no reason or no right to be carrying that book to begin with. I mean, even Jesus himself warns us most about false prophets and people with agendas and he would much rather spend time with those the society look down on than actually his own followers because his followers don't need his help but the downtrodden do. I mean, he would much rather spend time with the tax collectors and the uh, prostitutes than um, spend time in the temple. And that's just how I try to view the world. I'm not trying to say that I'm like him. I will never be like him. And but the bottom line is, is Jesus said, follow me, not my followers. And anyone who tries to force you to read the Bible, force you to come to church, force you to do anything religious, then they are doing it completely just distastefully. 
because if you choose the Christian faith, it's your choice. I mean, and that goes with any religion. If you choose any faith as your faith, you can ask for advice. You can ask for maybe a little bit of direction, but at the but the bottom line is is you, it's your journey and your journey alone. No one can hold your hand. No one can force you to open the book, whether it be the Quran or the Torah, the Bible, or whatever manuscript to whatever religion, what have you. The problem is it's your choice. It is your spiritual journey. And no one can tell you which way to go. It's by faith alone. And I have had people ask, you know, um, questions about it. I mean, and I will happily answer questions to the best of my ability if I can. But I am by no means a pastor or anyone that you should take as gospel. Haha, <laughs> gospel. <sighs> it's been a long week, and it's only Wednesday. Um, but with that being said, I basically want to get that out in the open. And if you think that I'm, me being Christian, I'm automatically racist or anything like that, I... I honestly, I consider myself um, an assholeist, you know, because I don't care who you vote for, I don't care who you believe in, I don't care where you're from, I don't care what lifestyle you live, I don't care what color you are, I don't care if you're a giant purple people eater, but if you're going to be an asshole, don't be surprised if people treat you like an asshole. And there are bad people in every group. Um, there are bad Caucasian people. There are bad African American people, Asian American, Asian, just uh, just uh, Mexican, Spanish, and just Native American. There are assholes in every single group you can think of. But do they define the group? Only if you let them. Whoops. That's not the button I wanted. Anyway. But you get what I mean. You get what I mean. You, they only define the group if you let them define the group. <sighs> and that's an interesting thing. I, Me being a Christian, it always seems that all of my friends turn out to be bisexuals, or lesbian, or gay. How does that work? I, I, I don't, I, mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it at all. In fact, that gives me, um, gives me an opportunity to answer questions if they have them, and I don't force my religion on them. I just mention it in passing, and then they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute, you're what? You're too nice. <laughs> so, it's always fun to surprise people when you drop that. It's also very useful when you've got weird middle-aged men hitting on you. In fact, that happened to me the other day. I was waiting for my ride, um, and this, this random guy just sauntered up to me and asked, Hey, it's really hot out, huh? It's like, yeah, that's hot. And he said, are you waiting for someone? Your Uber? And, you know, realizing, oh, I know where this is going. I said, oh, yeah, I'm just, well, I'm waiting for my pastor to pick me up. We've got Bible study tonight. You know how it is. And he just walked away. <laughs> and that's the thing about me. Um, I don't know... I mean, bless him if he really wanted companionship and not, but, or not, but I look at myself in the mirror and I think about all these people who have hit on me, middle-aged men and such, and it's like, you must be very desperate if you're looking my way. 
as I do not think I am that attractive at all. But then again, people say that you are 20% more attractive than you yourself perceive yourself. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am somewhat attractive. Maybe not. And I am just rambling. Just for the sake of rambling. I see those purple eyes. Spooky. You spooky. You almost triggered my phobia. You jerk. That's a little thing about me. I have a phobia of seeing eyes shine in the dark. It's it's kind of a weird thing where I feel like the thing that my flashlight is picking up can see me better than I can see it. And usually that's the case when you see eyes shine. They have a decent amount of being able to, you know, see better in the dark than a human can. So, what bothers me is when I see the eye shine, but I cannot make out what it is. And, but I feel like they can see and know exactly what I am. Usually, if you can learn the different colors of eye shine, it can kind of narrow it down to what kind of animal it is like rabbits raccoons smaller animals they have red eye shine dogs they tend to have blue eye shine bluish color uh, cats they tend to have green speaking of green go away um and deer i can say for certainty i've seen it they have yellow eyes so, if, and if you're someone who likes to spend time out in the great outdoors, you guys already know this. So, that's, uh, you guys know that. But for me, I, it's been a learning process because I, I do not like seeing eye shine. And it, it's even worse when you're watching ghost videos and the ghost has eye shine. Or their eyes glow in night vision footage and it's just like no 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 moo moo excuse me it's like no thank you I'd rather not spider grr anyway so well it's been 33 minutes um I'm sorry if the audio doesn't sound the best I don't have a uh, microphone set up like what Mark has, um, so I'm just using my phone for now, and, I mean, it's working well, I guess, but, I guess, uh, you know, like I said, it's better than nothing, and I will be checking out the, um, the comments, so if you guys want me to make a uh, area or a um, um, homestead here in survival mode please let me know in the comments if you just want me to build something I can do that too if you want me to play another game I can do that um, if anyone has a game suggestion hopefully something that's not that expensive because maybe I can get a big game once a month maybe but I would be better off getting, like, a game that's maybe $6 on Steam or something. Because my family, we gotta eat. Gotta be able to repair the car when it needs it. And seems to need it on a weekly base, though. Priorities. So please let me know in the, uh, the comments what you guys would like me to do. And I will see you all in the follow-up video. I gotta figure out my outro. <sighs> so, I will see you all later. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and please stay safe with all this COVID madness that's still going on. If you guys have any questions or topics you want for the next video, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not one to really ask anyone to 
uh, uh, like, subscribe, and ring the bell, but that's up to you. That's, if, you like what, if you like the content, you'll subscribe. And that's all I can ever hope for. That I'm at least making content that you guys are going to enjoy. And with this just being a pilot video, um, I will, I hope I can make content that will be much more enjoyable than me just rambling and trying to figure out how OBS works with this. But, anyway, I will chat with you all later. Take care. Bye.